we're going to walk through the process of adding and removing transformers using OpenPoint Web. First, go to the Transformer dashboard screen by clicking on the upper left-hand menu, going to Assets, and then clicking on the Transformers card. The next thing you'll do is click on the Transformer that you want to go to, if it's in the Recent Transformers list, for example, or you can perform a search. So in this case, we're going to look at 09943, and I'll select that from the list. And so that'll take us to the Transformer Overview screen. So there's two ways I can do the installation. I can go ahead and click the Install button here, or I can go into the Actions menu on the right-hand side, and then click the plus button down here to perform the installation. I'm going to go back and show doing it from this install button here. So I'll go ahead and click that. It's going to give me the opportunity to put in a date. So I will put in the date that it was installed, a status description, which is just indicating something about the installation that you want to communicate, but it's optional. The station number can be tap, uh, typed in, or you can use the picker and then perform a search. And so I'll do that here. So it found my transformer feature here. So I'll select that. Um, you can also see that it selected the asset group and the object ID. It populated that for us automatically. Um, and those are read only at this point. So from there, you type in or select a bank position. So one, two, or three. So if there are, this was a bank of transformers and there were three separate ones, for example, you would need to define separate and distinct uh, numbers for each one of those transformers. Uh, from here, we can put in a phase and also a circuit. Uh, the circuit's optional. It will not affect connectivity if this is left blank. I'll go ahead and put a circuit value in there. You can also enter the remaining fields optionally if desired. So configuration, tap setting, reference document, and notes. I'll leave those all blank for now. And then I'll say create. So that will perform the installation. And if I switch over to the map now, I can then uh, select that transformer feature. So I already have it centered on the map. So I'm just going to click on it. And then you'll click on the assets screen. And you'll see under the asset, assets transformers window here, the uh, feature I selected has the transformer we just installed. So the 09943 is now present on that particular feature record. So let's go back to our transformer record on the web, and I'll show you how to do a removal. So from here, you can see now that we've got it installed, now there's a remove option. So I could click on that, and it'll bring up a dialog box here, so I can do that removal very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, this time I'm going to use the date control, and I'm going to put in um, a date for that. and. Just like before, I'm going to leave the status description and the reference document and notes blank. Those are really just optional, and you can use those if you choose to have some kind of a strategy around that. Uh, that, that might be useful for you. Maybe it won't be. So to finish the removal process, I'm going to click on the create here. That creates a new action. So you can see that we now have the um, action removal listed here in this grid, and then uh, now the status has changed to available, so now this should be back in the warehouse since we've removed it from the, uh, the system. It's now uh, back in play and available to us. So if I go back into the map, and I'm going to kind of select off the transformer and then go back into it so we can see it uh, fresh here. Now notice that the, uh, there's no transformer listed, so we did remove that successfully, and that came down to the map and uh, updated itself there as well. So I'm going to go back to the Transformer Overview screen, and then we're going to go into the Actions menu on the right. So I just want to take you through this and show you some options here as well. This shows you all the historical actions, so this might get long over time for older Transformers. Um, you can click on any of these records by clicking in the, in the, uh, anywhere in the bar uh, section here of the, of the grid area. And when you go to those items, you'll see different screens uh, popping up on the right with additional information about what uh, occurred as part of the action. So 
Uh, so we kind of looked through some of these already as we were doing the installation, so I won't go through them again. But one thing you can do is you can delete these actions, these historical actions. So uh, I clicked on this install, for example, and now I can click on the button here, and then I can say delete, and that gets rid of that. Same thing from here, if I want to completely just, you know, delete the fact that those occurred, you can do that. And uh, optionally here, you can also do your, um, your installation and removal actions from here as well. So it's a little bit of a different process, but it's kind of a, a similar um, end result.